Okay, what's going on guys? This is Liam here and I want to talk about why you haven't started, okay? <clears throat> uh, what's holding you back, how to get silenced, where to find the information, everything like that. Because I could make videos about you know, how to beat tinnitus, but there's so many videos like that. And yet I, I continue to unfortunately see people prevent themselves from implementing um, the advice on my two YouTube channels, my Instagram, and unfortunately it's to their own detriment because they could apply it and get the results they wanted. Really, look, there's no guarantees in life as there are with my advice, of course, um, but the results are pretty damn good. So I wanna read you something uh, from someone in my Facebook group who joined my course, who's applying my advice. So get this, hi all, um, I put a mold armor test kit in five rooms. Um, for six days and four came back negative. Okay, this is part of my course by the way You have to test your house your workplace your car for mold anywhere you visit constantly It's very important if your ENT doesn't know about mold. They're an idiot. I put okay. Yep uh, his bedroom uh, came back uh, positive for black mold, which is it can kill you black mold and it could definitely cause tinnitus if you're thinking well How are we I didn't know mold caused tinnitus or this you haven't got to done a deep dive and gone through my information, okay? All my Instagram posts, read the descriptions, watch all the videos, read the descriptions, sign up to my email list, click below, read all the emails. It's all there, it, it, it is all there, okay? Um, it turns out the mold was coming out of his 15 year old portable air conditioner. Now, air conditioners are very big culprits. In fact, my house back in Melbourne where I used to live, uh, I remember my parents told me that after I left my wardrobe, became full of mold. <clears throat> so you can definitely, I can definitely say that mold was certainly a contributing factor to my tinnitus as well as uh, blasting my ears with headphones and drums for years uh, and poor diet and the stress of school and you know the whole rigmarole that everyone goes through in life including medications when I had um, serious stomach problems and I was shitting myself in school basically every day. This is when I was about 18 years old. So that shows you how sick I was, very sick. Um, if you've seen any of my emails, just a bit of a tangent here, as I always do. If you've seen, seen any of my emails, you know that I talk about the domino theory, which is, I didn't coin that term, a domino theory, but I'm using it for tinnitus. Because you shouldn't look, everyone looks at the last thing that set off their tinnitus. But they fail to look at their whole life and look at everything that contributed. Pharmaceutical drugs, neck problems, noise trauma, um, lack of sunlight stress, lack of sleep, um, and the, the list goes on and on and on. So if you, if you one day just blast your ears um, near a speaker or you use headphones or you start using those, those um, wireless headphones, AirPods, and you basically give yourself, just radiate your ears and you ruin the calcium and potassium uh, gating in your ears and then you just get no energy for your ears to function. My point being, if you look at just the last thing that set it off, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. What about the rest of the straw? And everyone does that and they say, Liam, what do I do? I got it from stress. Well, no, stress was the thing that triggered the tinnitus, but there's so many things bubbling below the surface you have to address as well. And the point is mold is a huge one. I would dare say that every single person who has tinnitus has mold because virtually every single person on the bloody planet has been exposed to mold, okay? So your air conditioner, whether it's portable, your heater, not, not so much portable heaters, depending on how it's done, uh, what it looks like and how it's built. But even in the, this one, I've got one here that just sits on the, on the wall, it's not portable. You need to open it up and you need to take out the filter and clean it. I would even take out the filter and test it. You can get little mold test kits. Anyway, so he got rid of it, detoxed it, and now he's got two days of silence and his positive tinnitus is lower. Um, also, he wants to say that his, you can see this on my Instagram, by the way, it's on my story, grass-fed uh, grass fed beef collagen has been outstanding. Uh, his skin and wrinkles have all improved. So isn't that interesting? I mean, L'Oreal's gonna fucking hate this. Like, oh, don't tell him that diet fixes skin and wrinkles and makes you look better and blah, blah, blah. No, he wanted to put this toxic shit on their skin. Like sunscreen. Okay, here's another thing. What I said about the, and we'll get, we'll, we'll circle back. Sunscreen is also a huge contributing factor to tinnitus. Not only are you putting cancer causing toxic shit, yes it's true, look it up, cancer causing toxic shit on your body and your children by the way, good luck with that. 
um, but you're preventing um, the UV light from actually penetrating your skin. How are you going to make vitamin D? It's just ridiculous. Okay, you're not going to you're not going to get any stimulation. You're not going to get any energy from the sun. You're not going to make the endocrine triphosphate. You're not going to charge up your ears. It's, it's going to be very hard to fix your tinnitus. If you live in a sunny country and you put on sunscreen, you're fucking kidding yourself. Now, back to, I want to say one thing and circle back. There's a lot of things I want to say. Um, you know what I said before about the domino theory and, and the last thing causes your tinnitus, okay? There's a story I'm thinking of. It's a testimonial of a guy called Dan. You can find it on my YouTube channel. You should, you should know who he is because you should watch all my videos twice. Um, and then you'll just be out. Of, you'll know it. If you, if you watch all my stuff, you'll know how to fix tinnitus. My free stuff even. Join my course if you want, but the free stuff will do it. Um, and so he got tinnitus from blasting his ears in a wedding next to a PA system, which is a big speaker, incredibly loud. Um, and he basically silenced his tinnitus by cutting out salicylate from his diet. Now, who would think that that has anything to do with tinnitus? But when you truly understand what I'm putting forward to you, all my accumulation of what I've studied and looked at in tinnitus, to look at just the thing that set off your tinnitus is incorrect. And your results, I mean, good luck. Good luck with that. It's, it's gonna be very hard for you to get the results you want, which is silence. Um, if you're just focusing on the last thing that set off your tinnitus. I'm not saying don't focus on it, I'm saying you should focus on everything else in the past. Smoking, um, lack of grounding, mold in the home, terrible parents, toxic relationships, you get the drill, okay? You can go through my videos and find it. Wi-Fi, um, using headphones, putting a phone in your pocket, sunglasses, I mean, take get rid of all the electronics, guys, come on. Um, so, what I wanted to talk about, well, I've already discussed a few things, but you can probably tell I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I've been up all night organizing stuff with um, the course I'm building and there's people building it, helping me build it from overseas. So I've got to talk to them. So one thing that I see a lot is that before people want to join my course or apply my information, they don't and they stop. And I think, why do these people stop and why are they preventing it, themselves from getting silence? And I've asked them this and they always have the same response. And I actually know, and one guy said to me, he was telling me, oh, I just haven't, you know, I've been a bit worried about implementing it, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I bet it's because you're worried that this is your last chance and you're worried that if this doesn't work, you've got nothing. Because guys, if, if you have tinnitus, I know how it feels, okay? I remember when I had tinnitus and I would go on the internet and look at everything. Not to sound arrogant or cocky, but the writing's on the wall. If you look at everyone else and everything else on the internet, it's either doesn't seem legit and it's helping like a couple of people, or it's just you can't get silence, it's impossible. But when you find me and you see the fuck ton of testimonials and you see it's like, you look at it and it's like, you know what, that just makes sense. And so you think, this is it. This is my one chance to get silence. <laughs> and so you don't do it because you're worried it won't work. And also, you always have it, you, you, keep, you, want, you don't want to lose that belief that it's possible. So you want to keep my advice, whether it's my course or my free advice, as a backup plan in the back of your head. Because sometimes the belief you can get silence is just enough. And I've had people tell me that, but the belief is enough. I just want, I just want the hope. And you don't want to lose that hope because in a world of tinnitus, there's no hope. In fact, all it is is doom, gloom, death, despair. And unfortunately, other people, the people who should be supporting each other with tinnitus are the ones who are putting each other down. I've seen people tell, tell each other to kill themselves. I mean, give me a fucking break. I don't know what it is about people on the internet, but it brings out the worst um, in people. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, there's just some food for thought. I think that's really what I wanted to talk about today. I um, hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day here in Toronto, Albania. I'm still here. I'm setting up an office at the moment. So hope you're doing well. The new course is coming out soon. Uh, the book's going to be included with the course. It's not going to be separate, just so you know. If you already have my course, you're going to get the upgrade for free. That's how it's going to work. That was the agreement. There's no extra fee. Okay. So have a great day. Tonight is not for life. Um, and yeah, love you all.